When you think of hydrogen, you probably picture something simple, a light, basic atom, just one proton and one electron. It's the first element on the periodic table and the most common one in the universe. But don't let that fool you. Hydrogen has a secret side, a strange family of isotopes that are anything but ordinary. Most people know about deuterium, which is hydrogen with one neutron, and tritium, which has two neutrons. These isotopes are stable enough to use in real-life applications, like nuclear fusion and heavy water reactors. But things get weirder as you keep adding neutrons. Enter hydrogen-6, one proton, and five neutrons. This thing shouldn't really exist. Neutrons without enough protons to glue them in place usually fall apart quickly. In fact, for a long time, scientists weren't even sure hydrogen-6 was real. It had only been theorized, occasionally glimpsed in experiments, and always stirred up arguments about whether it had a stable ground state. Basically, whether it could hold itself together, even for a brief moment. Now that mystery may finally be solved. In a groundbreaking experiment, researchers have created hydrogen-6 for the first time using electron scattering, and they didn't just create it. They measured it, confirmed it, and found something truly unexpected about how its neutrons behave. And it all started with a beam of electrons, a slab of lithium, and a lot of scientific patience. Let's step back for a moment. Why is hydrogen-6 so hard to make? Atoms are made of protons and neutrons, tightly bound together in a nucleus. The number of protons decides what element it is. Hydrogen always has one proton. Neutrons, on the other hand, are like the quiet bodyguards of the nucleus. They add mass, help glue the atom together, and keep protons from flying apart since protons all carry positive charges and repel each other. But there's a limit to how many neutrons an atom can hold. If you add too many things fall apart fast. In hydrogen's case, adding more than one or two neutrons creates extremely unstable versions of the atom. For example, hydrogen-4 with three neutrons and hydrogen-5 with four neutrons exist for only fractions of a second. Hydrogen-7? It's been spotted, but barely. It's basically a nuclear ghost. So when scientists theorized hydrogen-6, it seemed almost ridiculous. That's five neutrons trying to hang around a single proton. Think of it like trying to stick five balloons to one tiny magnet. There's nothing for them to grab onto. The balance seems impossible. Yet nuclear physics isn't always about what seems likely. It's about what nature allows, and that can be very surprising. The big question wasn't just can hydrogen-6 exist, but what holds it together if it does? Traditional models suggested the neutrons shouldn't be strongly attracted to each other in this situation. They should just scatter apart. But what if the models were wrong? To answer that, you need a very smart setup and some world-class tools. This is where the A1 collaboration came in. A team of physicists from Germany, China, and Japan working at a cutting-edge facility called Mainz Microtron in Germany. Their mission, to create hydrogen-6 and observe what happens before it disappears. Instead of smashing heavy atoms together like in some experiments, they used a more precise method, which was electron scattering. This involves firing a beam of high-energy electrons at a target, in this case a thin sheet of lithium-7. Here's the genius of the setup. An 855 MeV electron beam hits the lithium-7 nucleus. This collision excites a proton inside the lithium nucleus. The proton briefly transforms, creating a neutron and a pion, a tiny particle. That new neutron transfers its energy to another proton nearby, and boom! Hydrogen-6 is born, made of one proton and five neutrons. Meanwhile, the scattered electron, pion, and remaining proton all fly off and are picked up by high-resolution magnetic spectrometers. That might sound complicated, but it's like playing nuclear billiards. Hit the cue ball, knock a few balls around inside the lithium atom, and look at what shoots out the other side. But here's the kicker. This setup only worked because of Mainz Microtron exceptionally precise and stable electron beam. Also, they had to use a long, thin strip of lithium and line it up perfectly with the beam, something that's almost never done in this kind of experiment. And the lithium? Not easy to work with. It's soft, fragile, reacts with air and water, and is sensitive to temperature. Handling it took serious care and clever engineering. After setting everything up, 
the scientists ran the experiment for four straight weeks. That might sound like a long time, until you realize they were only seeing about one valid event per day. In total, they observed just a handful of Hydrogen-6 creation events, but that was all they needed, because what they saw was clear and unmistakable. Hydrogen-6 does exist, and not only that, it has a very low ground state energy, which means the neutrons are interacting more strongly than anyone expected. Think about that. Five neutrons, one proton, no stable orbit, and yet they clung together, at least briefly, and showed a kind of nuclear behavior that challenges current theories. Even more impressive, the researchers pulled this off by running all three of Mainz microtron spectrometers at once, in a rare coincidence mode that let them detect all the particles involved in a single event. It's like watching a car crash in slow motion from three different camera angles and learning something new about how cars break apart. So now that Hydrogen 6 has been confirmed, what's the big takeaway? Well, it's not just about ticking off a box on the periodic table. This discovery challenges our current models of how protons and neutrons behave in extreme situations, especially when there's very little glue holding them together. It might help us understand the mysterious physics inside neutron stars, where matter is packed in ways we still don't fully get. It could also refine the simulations and models that guide nuclear medicine, energy production, and even our theories of how elements formed after the Big Bang. And maybe most importantly, it reminds us that nature doesn't always follow our rules. Sometimes it bends them. Sometimes it rewrites them completely. Thanks to the brilliant work of these researchers, we now know Hydrogen 6 exists, and it's weirder and more wonderful than we thought.